Hey Toy fans, it's Roberto here doing another unboxing and this is a breakfast unboxing for me. Just uh, uh, <coughs> had to stay in the day, but decided I would open up a new figure. This is a Cosmic uh, Legions Zerian Spire from Four Horsemen Studios. And um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just say this is probably a banger already. <laughs> like, man, uh, the Cosmic Legion figures, just the Mythic Legions uh Figures too are, are just really uh, great for me. I love them. They they remind me of, of toys I had when I was a kid, mainly like uh, the knockoff Masters of the Universe figures and uh, just like the Dungeons and Dragons figures, along with the Masters of the Universe figures. But regardless, pretty cool. Uh, sorry to hurt a reflection. Got a is it a piece of art? Uh, it looks like a Doctor Dup Photoshop uh, image of the character. Uh, you can see she's in a window box. See some of her accessories on the side here. And then <clears throat> on the back, it's all the other figures in the wave. Pretty sweet wave. And then a Cosmic Legion. It's just a planet there. Um, on the one side, you have the story of the um, of the chapter one of this right now and that's basically the um it's basically taking place on a prison planet or just a an asteroid or some sort where um a high warden slog runs things with an iron fist and has some gladiator fights in between uh the people that are put in the grave ring and our heroes uh i think led by Oleg thygar um are either just Fighting it out in the gladiator ring arena, or maybe going to cause a rebellion eventually. But so far, so good. Uh, I like I like the setup. So, what's going on with Ziri and Spire? Once a famous bioengineer on her homeworld of Threeus, Ziri rejected the unwanted celebrity status that was thrust upon her. Known for her breakthrough discovery of the regenerative formula eventually known as Thyraxium. She disappeared from sight with her discovery, was forcefully taken away and used for uh, was it motives that were less than benevolent. Ziri's delusionment over the loss of her discovery led her to seek solace among the ranks of the controversial and elusive organization known as the Mortal Thorn. Oh, good name. Uh, although her association with the Thorn eventually led to her incarceration, it was the the very experience which led her uh, for survival within the lethal halls of Halkadar or Valkardar. I don't know. I have to listen to somebody else's pronunciation because it ain't it for me. I don't know. Regardless, let's uh, let's see how she pans out. Um, but yeah, she was definitely on the short list of figures I wanted to get. Um, outside of the main character and the larger figures, but um, we'll see. Uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. All right, so, um, I don't know if I'll be removing any hands in this video, as if you've seen the last one where uh, the uh, I had a hand just come apart. I was able to fix it though. I'll, uh, I'll show it to you later. Uh, we go through but regardless uh here is the diorama box piece which is pretty cool it looks like prison so if you want you probably can form a diorama out of a couple of these um but yeah pretty cool box then looks like she is uh she's got a really cool color hue of skin it's like a blue with uh there's a couple different colored blues on there. Looks like she comes with some soft goods. She's loaded out uh, with accessories, so that's cool. Uh, looks like she's got an alt head as well. Um, digging that. So let's go ahead and get her out and see if um, she's as cool as I think uh, she was. Like I said, she was definitely on the short list of figures that I was picking up if I was only getting a couple. Um, I was making sure I was getting her. I like to get uh, at least one female if they're available. Um, just because, you know, like just to see the difference between the male and the female figures. Regardless, uh, let's see if we can get her 
her mug in and not mine. Um, she got she got a pretty sweet like punk rock thing going here. Well, uh, she doesn't have a shaved side of the head, but still, um, little, little bob hair. That's a neat little haircut. Um, what else does she got going on here? Looks like got a bunch of pouches. I love some pouches. Anytime uh, they got a belt or anything, you think I'm thinking they got whatever they need for the mission inside of their pouches. Looks like she's they've got the same like um, holes throughout the the figure to plug things into, um, which was kind of a, a neat uh, little gimmick. Oh, she's got this is pretty cool. She's got like some jump jets on her boots. I don't think I've seen that on the other figure. Oh, maybe. Uh, Let's take a look. Yeah, I guess I guess he's got some too. Um, kind of hard to see, but yes. So I stand corrected. All the figures probably have the jump jets on <laughs> their boots. <laughs> I just ignored it the first two times through. Um, she's got two trigger fingers. Uh, uh, they're I like the color of her of her jumpsuits. Just kind of like um, tans and grays and browns. Uh, very cool. Uh, very nice contrast just with uh, her hair and her face. Um, alien in origin, you can tell. Look, look at uh, not only the the blue skin, but like she's kind of got like some pointy elf ears going on there. So neat. Uh, and I really do just like the the look of her of her belt. Um, and this piece it's molded on top of looks like the the armor. Are the way it's supposed to be laying there so this is like one piece the belt and the bottom part here um so that's called the loincloth looking uh piece that's also like a god piece armor um neat let's see how loose is she arms are moving a little bit let's see yeah she's on a stiffer side so I'll be a little try to be a little careful. I was enjoying the the new foot uh, feet. What do you call it um, for these characters? Because they they uh, stand pretty well. Um, I know some of the Mythic Legion ones when it came to the females was having tr trouble because they were on some weird like I don't know. It's like their their foot and ankle was just just doing some uh, weird stuff there. But anyways, uh, single jointed elbows. I think single jointed knees to do a good job of covering the joints at the very least um and they stand pretty well so let's see there's that looks like she comes with the same pistols as the engineer that i got already just a different color i kind of like her color a little bit better um the other one was just kind of green so but this one is looking a little more shiny so not too bad so two of those. If I could pop one in. Maybe. Oh. Definitely uh fits in the hand very nice. Looks like she's gonna just just <laughs> shoot you in half with that. So that's pretty cool. Um more of these clear plugs, which uh seem to be the gimmick for for this uh this round of figures which maybe it'll go throughout the entire series i don't know but it's cool i like it um already dropped one don't think i'll be able to find that anytime soon until i like vacuum down here or something but um regardless that was uh or, or i'll step on it one or the other step on it or my daughter will find it um regardless that was uh i, I do like the, the little peg gimmick it's not too bad let's see now this on the other hand he's, he's what do you call it uh the way they packed in the accessories like it's like a layer of plastic that's taped to the side but kind of constructed in a way that it's just fighting you the entire time um yeah i don't know i don't know if i like it <laughs> i don't know if i like that about it right let's see all right got that off wasn't as much of a uh of a battle as some of the other pieces but um oh here's the here's it looks like the showcase piece of of this figure for sure uh she went from 
uh, scientist to <laughs> sniper, apparently. Jeez, that that is a long arm. Uh, she is going to do the thing. It looks like there's a peg hole on both sides of the gun, which is kind of cool. Um, they do anything special here? Uh, I don't know. I don't, it doesn't look like you probably you probably can't fit a uh, what do you call it effect in that. Doesn't look like it's seated for one, but who knows? Um, oh, I'm, just, I'm looking at her. She comes with an alt head that looks like it has a gas mask, and the gas mask is is a separate piece. So that's really cool and different hair. So. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is her business uh, killer hair. If, if you, a woman's got her hair up in a bun, it's uh, probably trouble. Uh, <laughs> she's gonna, she's gonna mess you up, man. Regardless, uh, just be careful. Um, I like this. It's a different. Uh, this is a cool little gimmick. The other, the other main character that Olek came with um, a would look like a. A gun effect of some sort um, or maybe turn it sideways maybe it's like a map I don't know you know whatever whatever it is to you maybe somebody can clarify but this just straight up just looks like it's a planet so maybe um, your destination is is there let's see so If she's looking for a, a particular planet while she's out uh, out in space, maybe piloting or something, it's kind of neat. Um, she also comes with a couple of other fingers, which look like they're also trigger fingers. Like she comes with four different trigger fingers, so not sure if uh, if it's for um, the two different guns, possibly. So let's see. Pop that out. Pop off the head. Let's see if I pop this on. Okay. So fits with the uh, gas mask or the oxygen mask uh, right underneath. And pretty sure that's the way it goes. It's slotted pretty nicely. And just slid up the back of her head. Looks like there's a groove for under her ears. I really, I really like that. Um, and then she looks great. Um, will it fit on both? Probably not, but you can try. Let's see. Definitely fits under. Oh, I stand corrected. They thought of everything. So, it sits a, not as straight, but it does fit. So, that's cool. But, I do like the the business uh, hair. It's got the bun going. Pop that back on. Pop that on. See if I can get this... Uh, so now this is probably going to be, I'm sure it's going to fit in her hand, but without the, uh, without double jointed elbows, I don't know how she's going to get a, a good, a really good pose, but whatever. So one thing I like, um, that about the, uh, what are they called? The Action Force figures is they come with like an open hand for palming guns. And after that, there's like no going back. Like, I'm sure I can I can wedge this open to um to hold it. But the fact that that's just a feature right out of the box for those figures is is pretty awesome. But yeah. Um and her head. Now her head doesn't not with doesn't go back that much with uh, with that, but she can lay down and put the gun up, so that's really cool. Um, that was actually 
it's more play than I thought, so that's really neat. And does she got a removable cartridge? No, I don't think the cartridge is removable. But other than that, she has looks like oh, there's a it's like a decal on the back. She's got some cloth goods. Looks like a hood, a poncho of some sort. So that's really cool. Oh, and it's got a it's got a button on the front for attaching, which is neat. There you go, both sides. And then let's see if I can get this on without actually taking anything off. I can, which is really awesome. There's like a wire uh, throughout. Oh man, and that really just adds to adds to the effect. So really cool. Um, there's a wire. Here's wires around this, so you can probably get some really fun posing throughout the uh, throughout the figure. Um, but yeah, I I I don't know. Um, Maybe a little bit much with the decal. Cool that they that they put it there, um, but I don't know. I, I kind of would have liked it just even without anything. R regardless, it's uh, it is really uh, a really cool just accessory. Um, something that um, before, like with the capes, they were just literally a piece of cloth, and you kind of had to just uh, like jury rig it onto your figure somehow. This this is full blown a piece of clothing, so. Kudos for that. That's really cool. Look, at, it has a, a what do you call it? A button that seems to work right now. I haven't blown it apart yet, but um, and that that looks great. And the fact there's wires in here, it's gonna sit the way you want if you fight it a little bit. This figure looks really cool. Um, and other than that, I can plug in the guns into into the holes if I want. Um, let's see. I don't know if I like the way they sat as much um, as when I was doing it on the other figure. I thought that it was uh, cool, but kind of stuck out a little bit more than I would have liked. Yeah, maybe this is one of the bigger ones. But anyways, still still neat. I like when they just try something new, and they they stuck with it regardless if it didn't if it wasn't what they imagined they still went with it and uh i'm here for it so it's neat and i think if they do different colors of those pegs like they probably could get some other cool effects so plug in your two guns anytime that you can just put all your weapons on a character makes me happy so that's cool and then i'm sure the hood can just lay back if you want it to very cool poncho punched up figure got your gun and that the fact that it can just come out with one hand really hides the 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 single jointed articulation which is pretty smart um they, these guys are professionals <laughs> when it comes to toy making they know what they're doing i'm just playing with toys over here so regardless uh there's that and looks good with the uh with the other guy the other hero well she did some some crazy stuff and was working for her i don't know how much of a hero she is she's a, obviously an assassin of some point in her life she's got this giant sniper rifle but uh she did some stuff and now she's working with uh the quote-unquote good prisoners but um yeah uh there is also the the head that the extra head that was uh shipped with my uh my shipment and I'm sure it fits on her. It just probably looks a little bit big. But if you're just going to use it as a helmet, uh, maybe it doesn't fit that well on her. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> well, you can just sit it on there regardless. Uh, looks, looks a little big. But I think I'm going to go ahead and stick with the gas mask. Because that was really cool. I really like that and the sniper rifle so she's she's awesome and um, like I said if you watch the the other engineering uh, figure that I unboxed the peg came out like it was um, 
in the hand like it got stuck in the hand the hand came off but the peg was still in there but luckily it didn't break it just kind of came apart so all i did um to fix it and it, and it works uh it's still it's still pegging um you can you can go ahead and move it i can move it how i like regardless um all i did was heat up the um the hand like the the part without the peg so I could just wedge it back in, pull it apart with um, softly, like just with like pull it aside with my fingers on, on a, a small pair of like pliers, popped it back in, put it back in place, reheated, cooled it off. Now it seems to work. Luckily, it just didn't snap or anything like that. So, um, and that was on me. You know, whenever I open these figures, and if I don't heat them like I say you should, that could happen. Um, so, just be careful. But yeah, she's holding guns. Uh, <laughs> back back to being awesome anyways uh that was a cool figure but this one really neat um yeah i like it i like everything about it um out you know i i do think that these could be done a little bit better but it's it is cool and i think they'll figure something out just for for the use regardless um she's gonna shoot you down thanks for watching like subscribe leave a comment let me know what you think of uh, what was her name again? Her name was Ziri Inspire. If you picked her up, um, or what figures you picked up in the Cosmic Legion wave, or which ones you want to pick up, uh, regardless, I'm looking forward to the two big figures, and I want uh, some of the um, the Bug Soldiers. I don't think I got them, but um, I do want to pick them up. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. See you next time. Bye.